Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 30th, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see the state of California right here. Look at the strong storm out over the Gulf of Alaska. Unfortunately, this is just helping with the ridging dominating across much of the southwest. No relief in sight for much of California or for much of the desert southwest for that matter. We're going to take a look at what is coming up here, if we have any offshore wind events in store, if any tropical storm development, and when we might see some relief here across the area. As we've been setting some record highs and just continuing on with this extreme warmth there as we go on in through the year 2024. Taking a look at where we are now, you can see uh, virtually clear for many areas except for some of Southern California, right up against the coastline, kind of moving into some of the Los Angeles metro, maybe Orange County a little bit there as well. You can see you've got some clouds across Arizona. There is a chance for a couple thunderstorms out there as we go through the day today. You can see that reflected here on the Storm Prediction Center. It does include Flagstaff in Phoenix, but it's not going to put much of a dent in a lot of the heat here across much of Arizona or the deserts of California. Now, looking at the National Weather Service, there's heat advisories, there's high, you know, there excessive heat warnings and watches are in effect. And we get all kinds of stuff here as we continue to have this heat across much of the Southwest. If we take a closer look at Southern California, this marine weather statement here is for uh, that marine layer out there. And it's just kind of telling people to watch out, especially boaters out there and watch out in the low visibility associated with that maybe right up against the coastal areas as well and if we take a look at Fresno for example it's supposed to break record highs for October 1st 2nd and 3rd coming up here so you know it's not just Phoenix that's getting this record heat places like Needles California and some other areas are setting record highs as well widespread heat and if we look at Phoenix just becoming ridiculous here as we're expected to break records all throughout the week coming up here, 108, 111, 108, 8, and 110, just smashing these record highs on a daily basis. And I'll show you more on that here in a moment. But let's take a look at Needles, California. Look at 107 degrees was the record high for September 29th. Absolutely shattering that with 113 degrees. So again, Phoenix isn't the only place with this excessive heat. It's being shared across much of the region. If we look at Phoenix for uh, September 29th, 107 was the previous record high. Look at this, 113. Just a ridiculous run of temperatures. Phoenix has never seen 110 degrees at this time of year. And you can see we're on one, two, three, four, five straight days of 110 plus with again that ridiculous reading of 117 on the 28th which matches the all-time record high for the month of August even and here we are in late September so very noteworthy if we take a look at Las Vegas, 102 was the record high for yesterday, 104 is where we got. So again, other areas are experiencing this heat as well, and we've checked that one out already. So if I clicked on one of these random stations here in Phoenix, you can see it's already 92 degrees. One thing I like about this weather station, it tells you what kind of warnings or advisories are in effect for your area. So you can just click on that excessive heat warning, and it tells you what's going on there, a little discussion for you there also. So yeah, very interesting. If you want one of these stations, click on that link down below to save 10%. Now, take a look at 500 millibars you are looking at general ridge and trough position and you can kind of see how this high pressure is dominating along a lot of the west coast here as we go on in through early october not much relief as you can see you don't see any troughs or anything or any tropical systems moving up into the area and uh, yeah, we continue on in through the early portion of October and not much relief showing up here. So we've got some work to do trying to search and find uh, at least even a fantasy forecast for some cooling. More on that here in a moment. We'll take a look at the GFS also. And this is the GFS at 850 millibars, about 5,000 feet. There's California right there, Hawaiian Islands to the left. This is the Pacific Ocean. So this is temperature anomaly. When you start to see these oranges and reds and these dark reds and whatever this tan and white color, that is well above average. And you can kind of see how these temperatures just continue to bake the Southwest USA. And these again are about 5,000 feet aloft. And we're not making much headway here. You don't see much of a cool down as we go all the way on through October 8th. Now we're scrolling through, and this is the morning of October 9th when this model run ends. In fact, let me update that because I think we have more information. We do. Let's scroll off into the future a little bit more. Do we get a little bit of something out there over 250 hours out? Maybe, but you know, no promises. That's looking way off into the forecast. Now, if we look at the artificial intelligence European model, I'm going to put this into motion, and you can see not much precipitation pushing into the state of California. We're not looking at any frontal systems or any big upper level lows. There is this tropical storm development that emerges. I'm scrolling backwards now and that kind of starts to show its face here as we go towards the end of the week. But right now it doesn't show any signs of moving up towards Baja right now, but we will watch it as we go day by day and kind of see it meandering out over the Pacific Ocean there. 
And if we take a look at the vertically integrated smoke, this goes out 48 hours. Look at the line fire and maybe the happy fire are still producing smoke out there. So it's starting to become a little more than a nuisance there as well. So if you smell any of that across some, you know, Santa Barbara, Ventura, Los Angeles, Orange County, and moving up towards the valley areas, that is probably why. And again, that happy fire looks like it's right about there, probably producing some smoke as well. So we do have to deal with that, but at least there's no huge out of control uh, ongoing fires right now as well. And uh, if you want to check that out, you can look at that the WFCA, uh, you know, WFCA.com to be exact. Western Fire Chiefs Association, if you want to check that out for yourself. And you can see the happy fire is right there. There's the coffee pot fire, there's the bridge, the line fire, and the airport fire is here. You can see Long Beach and Los Angeles. So if we take a look at the GFS, this is surface temperature anomaly. And I shared the wide map here because you can kind of see how the entire west and often towards the plains, even the Rocky Mountains, are well above average. And this is a um, two meter temperature anomaly. This is a 10 day running total. You can see not much change as we go all the way out towards the mid portion of October. Again, this is a 10 day running total temperature anomaly in Celsius. Just kind of ridiculous heat staying with us as we go on in through the month of October. I wish I had better news on that. Getting a lot of comments about how, you know, when will this heat end? What is going on here? So taking a look at the two meter temperature anomaly on the GFS, this is just a one day running total. And again, you can kind of see some of the successive heat just continue to be with us across the western portion of the USA at times, including central portions as well. So yeah, wish I had better news on that front. Here we're going to take a look at mean sea level pressure. This is the European artificial intelligence. You kind of see this offshore component, a little bit of a thermal trough. That's what's helping keep things quite warm in the meantime. But it doesn't look like a big offshore wind event. A little bit of an offshore gradient here, but not a huge Diablo or Santa Ana wind event at this time. And doesn't look like any huge offshore wind event is in store as we go off into the extended forecast here. But still, the heat will be with us but at least no big offshore winds which really can get fire season going across much of California. As you guys know, if you've lived there for any length of time, taking a look at the national blend of models. This is for today. Look at this mid and upper nineties here across the valley areas, much warmer across the deserts. You can get some of that relief though along the immediate coastline, but look at tomorrow, hundred plus degrees for many locations, very warm again across the desert areas. There's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as we go through the weekend, not much relief out there. And we go through the very end of the model run, you see a little bit of a cool down trying to occur across some places here, but that's looking way off into the forecast where we visit that daily. And no, you're not imagining it over the last three months or so. We have been significantly above average across the entire West. Just very small locations have been below average. Even some of Southern California, you know, it's been relatively, you know, haven't had any big offshore heat events. And we're right about average a little bit more above. But once you get to two to four degrees, and then you see some four to six patches out there. Those are significantly above normal temperatures. And look towards Phoenix and whatnot. Some places six to eight degrees above normal over a three month period. And of course, a lot of this occurred during the summertime. So there's exceptional temperatures out there. And this is just for the last week. You can see a widespread. I mean, you're talking about what? Some areas with, I believe that is what, five to 10 and 10 to 15 degrees above normal for the last week. But you can see you know, San Diego, Los Angeles, some of Ventura and Santa Barbara County have been slightly below average here. So there is some relief there. But the overall message for much of the area has been the above average conditions. And this doesn't give much hope as well. Six to 10 day temperature outlook through October 9th. Just a clearly just above average signal. You can see likely 80 to 90 percent chance of being above normal across the southwest that time period. Now look at this six to 10 day precipitation outlook below normal, just dominating a lot of the West and Rocky Mountains, some of the plains, a little near normal sliver there across California. We'll see how that turns out. Eight to 14 day, I included this one today just to kind of show you this area of heat is supposed to remain with us all the way in through mid-October and the eight to 14 day. Look at that above average signal as well. Now this one was September 27th. This goes for the basically almost the second half of October and you can continue to still see some of that above average, but at least there's some equal chances for some of the West Coast. And this above average signal does include some of Northern California. So maybe we'll flip the switch at some point as we go through October. No promises there. But anyway, yep. Hope you guys are liking the videos. Leave some comments below on what you're seeing. Um, click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.